Hey, that uh, sixth inning when the White Sox really got something going, what was it, in your opinion, uh, that got their rally started? Well, I think, you know, Lariano, he he uh, didn't have his best stuff, I think. Worse, but uh, he see, couldn't seem to put a hitter away, you know, like he normally does. Uh, he was okay, and, you know, they put some really nice swings on the ball and, uh, you know, finally broke through us. Uh, you know, we... Uh, we didn't do too much against their guy early. We thought we were going to get him. We whacked him pretty good early, and, you know, he kind of fell into a little bit of a groove, and then uh, we kind of got shut down, uh, uh, and that's when they had the beginning. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, guys have been doing pretty doggone good, and Frankie's been pitching very, very well, so, you know, they found a way to get to him, and, and uh, you know, we didn't do too much after that. Cameron's first two swings from the right side of the plate. Uh, how satisfying for you to see him? Knowing that it was the left wrist that was bothering him earlier. Right. You know, and he's against a lefty, which is good. And uh, uh, um, he had a good day today. Swung the bat really well. He's on the ball. And uh, um, like I said, just not enough. We didn't pitch well enough and uh, uh, today. And they had the big inning a little bit later and kind of buried us. So uh, we kept coming, kept trying. And he, the other guy's credit for that. But we got the bases loaded or whatever it was. And, and, uh, we got Martin up there, and he had a rocket. That's all you can do. I mean, that could have been a, a play of the game. I mean, we get that one in there, and then we're back within a couple of runs. And um, But, you know, they had the shift on him and, and got him. And he had a missile. So, um, you know, that was our shot, and it didn't work. In that sixth inning, you talk about, do you ever think of uh, with Anderson at the plate? He had gone yard already once. Do you think about maybe putting him on to go at Sanchez? Sanchez has the better average, I guess, but better. No, none whatsoever. No, that never came to my mind. Well, we need to make pitches and get that guy out. We're, we we know how to get him out. We just didn't make pitches. That's all it is. I'm not going to walk him to get to the next guy. So, game really changed flow though rather dramatically and quickly though today it looked like you guys were on your way here to something that might even be comfortable ron and then yeah the, the fifth know, and six it, it just it, yeah there was a cave in we just couldn't keep the ball in the ballpark um you know cisco talked about you know a couple things early he was fine his arm felt great he was making pitches but then they got on him uh, a little bit like city every time it seemed like he made a mistake they didn't just hit it they put it in the seat so um, that kind of got them back into it, gave them a little breathing room and a little life. Um, and when that happens, you know, now they, they feel like uh, they have an opportunity to get us. And uh, they did. Coleman has been very, very good for us. And he's not a normal guy that would give up a home run. And his ball was a little flatter today than it has been. And he didn't make a pitch. And that was a big home run. And you talked about, uh, you know, wanting to get Victor Reyes some at-bats today. He singles up uh, in his first A-B and then aggressive on the base pass, which I guess is it goes what we talked about during pregame, continue to apply. Yeah, I mean, you know, he put a nice swing out there and, you know, run the bases hard. I think we had second and third there and we put the contact play on. I think that ball might have got in on him a little bit. It was a cutter. I asked him what the pitch was, first pitch, a little anxious, you know. That's a situation, you know, more experience. He'll probably sit back and because right-handed, that's his best side. Um, but he was anxious and got jammed a little bit, and we got thrown out at home. Uh, and and he told me it was a cutter coming in. So that's probably a situation as he goes along. Hopefully someday he'll be able to sit back and take that ball in there and look for something out and over and get it in the air and get the run in. So, uh, but you know what? He's he's doing what you expect. He hasn't played in a long time. Hasn't got many at bats. And first time up, swung first pitch. Second time up, swung first pitch. So I think it was get them before they get you. It's a long way for Goodrum to hit the ball right-handed, isn't it, and that uh, triple? I mean, yeah, to put it yeah he, he crushed that ball. Um, he's a strong young man. He puts a big swing on the ball, so the ball was a long way. That's a big park out there. We had a few of them out there that were hit really good, but this is a big park. How eager are you? I mean, you're so close. To, it seems like getting most of your offensive players back, Miguel probably just around the corner, but you pretty much have everybody else back just yeah. to see what this team can kind of do. Well, that's so nice. We'll back. get Miguel back, and we'll have, you know, um, one of the better hitters in the league, uh, and he's going to do some. We're doing a little batting practice for him around 11:30, I think it is tomorrow. Uh, we got the field for 11:30. We're going to hit in the cage, but he wants to hit on the field, which is a good thing. Back-to-back uh, -back days coming in here and taking his swings, which is good. Take some round balls and move around. So we're getting closer with him, which is a big part of our lineup. You know, you know, in the middle of that mess that we got going on with those big boys, that's pretty fun to have. And we were doing pretty good when he was there. So 
We need runs. Points are good and takes the pressure off our pitching, which we said we need to do more.